If you've been following the sport of track and field, you know that these previous few months have been packed with record-breaking performances from the distance running scene up to the marathon circuit and also in the sprinting scene. And particularly, if we focus in on the sprinting scene in 2023, it's been a pretty interesting year on the men's side over the 100 and the 200 meter distance. However, for this video, we are going to focus on one particular athlete that is really doing something pretty amazing this season, and that athlete is Zarnell Hughes from Great Britain. Now, Zarnell Hughes is actually the fastest man in the world so far in 2023, with a season's best time of 9.83 in the 100 meters. With a legal wind, Hughes pretty much shocked the world with this performance because it not only made him the number one athlete in the world this season for the 100, but it broke the British record that went all the way back to 1993, previously held by Linford Christie at 9.87. At the time, this performance of 9.87 was not only a new British record, but it was a new European record, and he took down Andre Kaysen and Dennis Mitchell from the United States for the gold medal position in this world final. For 30 years, this time stood as the European record, but then Zarnell Hughes swooped in and took this time down by four one hundredths with a very clutch performance, winning this year's New York Grand Prix. Now this race by itself was already pretty amazing and it made Zarnell Hughes one of the medal favorites for this year's World Finals. However, in this year's London Diamond League meeting, his home country, Hughes struck again, and he wasn't quite able to win this race, but he still crushed the previous British record with a time of 19.73. Now these two times together, make him one of the few athletes this season to go sub-10 and sub-20 in 2023. But the reason we're talking about Hughes isn't just because he's ranked as one of the best sprinters in the world this season. It's because he did something before each of these performances that I honestly have never seen before. Before he ran his 9.83, he predicted to the exact hundredth of a second that he was going to run a 9.83. In this journal entry, the morning of his race, he wrote competition day in New York, I'm going to run a 9.83 with the slowest time being 9.89 to 9.91. Have faith. I'm prepared and I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. This is pretty amazing. I've honestly never seen someone call their shot like this. And considering that 9.83 would have been a huge national record, this was a super bold call from your boy Sarnell Hughes. But the madness does not stop there. Because on July 23rd, he did the exact same thing in this year's London Diamond League meeting. In this picture here, you can see that he had a very similar kind of journal entry. He wrote, First Diamond League London, running in the 200 today, I'm feeling good, ready to get going and having fun. 19.73, let's do this. This is just crazy, because not only does he have to have nearly oracle-like prediction abilities, but he has to stop and think, you know what, yeah, I am in national record fitness, and I'm going to run a time well under 9.9 .9 and well under 19.8 seconds over the 100 and the 200. I've just never seen anything like this before. And with this kind of perfect prediction capabilities, I feel like Hughes is zoning in on his own running more than anyone else in the world right now. And while he probably won't win the gold in the 200 meters, because we have the likes of Noah Lyles, Let's Seely Tobogo, Arian Knighton, and Kenny Benerick to compete against, I think he has a very solid chance to do something pretty amazing in the 100 meters. Now that the world championships are less than one month away, Hughes is certainly hitting some of the best fitness that we have ever seen, and he is certainly the greatest sprinter in British history right now at least. So moving into this year's world championships, I am very interested to see how Zarnell Hughes will do in both the 100 and the 200, and I also want to know what you all believe he will be capable of in both of these sprinting events. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.